In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a form where you have two list boxes on it and you can move information from one list box to another list box simply by clicking a button that says add or double clicking on the item that you want to move. Now, you can do it the other way also simply by clicking on the second list box and moving it to the original one and double clicking too. Now the amazing thing about the way I'm going to show you is that it's done very simply using one table, two queries, and a handful of code. Not very complicated at all. So let's go ahead and get started by looking at our uh, source data. Now the table that's going to feed both of our list boxes is a table I call location list and in my location list table I have locations and then I also have a second column called deleted. Now this column is filled with zeros and the idea is that the first uh, list box is only going to show the records that are tagged with zeros while the second list box is only going to show the records that are tagged with one and when I hit the add button all I simply do is run an update query for the value that I've selected let's say I've selected Indiana in, in my list box one I would run an update query to update zero to one and that would automatically transfer it over to list box two and then going the other way if I wanted to remove it I would select Indiana and it would do an update query from one to zero that's the basic concept of it. It's very simple. It's one data source. So here's what we're going to have to do. First thing we're going to have to do is build our list boxes in our form. In this new form, select the toolbox and then select the list box. Select another list box, a button, and another button. So we have two buttons and two list boxes. Okay. So let's go ahead and format this a little bit. Okay, so now let's go ahead and right click on the first list box, go to properties, and we're going to set a couple of properties. First thing we're going to set is the row source. Now the row source is the location list. Add that, location, and deleted. Now we want the location where the deleted equals zero, because remember we talked about the first list box should only show records where the uh, deleted uh, is tagged with zero. Okay, close that out and then in the name of this first list box we're going to name it my list box one perfect now the second list box go to properties data row source again location lists location deleted and remember we only want to show records where the deleted equals one save that and then in the name we want to name this my list box two. Okay, and then properties of the button here. We're going to call this button add. And then properties of the second button in the name. We're going to say uh, button remove. Perfect. All right. So the form is all set up. We're going to close the form out, and we're going to call this main. Okay, and if I open up main form, you'll see that the first list box is filled and the second list box is not filled. So now what we have to do is we have to build a query that will fire every time we hit add that will do an update query uh, that will update the deleted column for the value that we select. The first query, we're going to start a new query here, it's going to update the deleted column of this location list where the location equals forms main my list box one so this is saying that um, if the location is the same value as the value in my list box one in my main form that I'm going to do an update query now we're going to change this to an update query and we're going to update deleted to one and that's it I'm going to save this query as my update one and then take that little spark out and then we'll go to queries new location list location deleted and we're going to change this to an update query and we're going to update this to zero where the location equals forms main my list box two 
And so this is saying that if the value of the uh, location in the location list is the same as the value of the list box 2 in the main form, change it back to 0. Okay? And I'm going to call this my update 2. Perfect. So I have my update 1, which changes uh, the deleted column to 1 for the value that we selected, and then my update 2, which changes the delete column to 0 for the value we selected. All right. So we have our pieces of information. We have our location list set up, we have our two queries set up, and we have our form set up. So now it's just simply time to assign the right code in the right places. Let's work on the Add button first. Right click on the Add button, go to Properties, on click, and we're going to put in some event. Now what we're going to do first is uh, set warnings to false. Now set warnings to false basically turns off any kind of warning messages as, it, as in you're about to update this query, you're about to update qu that query. We don't need to see that. So we're just going to go ahead and type in a simple command. Do command set warnings false. Then we're going to go ahead and open a query. We're going to open the my update one query which basically tags the uh, item selected with the one. And then uh, again, do command set warnings true. Anytime you set warnings to false, you have to set warnings true after you're done with your action. Perfect. So now, after this, my update query runs, list box 2 will actually have something to show. But when you update a list box in runtime or dynamically update a list box, you have to refresh it or requery it in order for the list box to actually show the updates. So we'll just say me, my list box 1 requery as simple as that and then me my list box 2 requery again it's as simple as that so I think we're done with the add button let's go ahead and work on the remove button here go to properties data or event on click Okay, now on the, for the remove button, we can, uh, for the most part, copy what's up here, copy, and then paste, and then change my update one to my update two, and everything's the same. So now instead of uh, running update one, we're going to run the update two query, which updates the selected values uh, deleted column to back to zero, and then requeries both list boxes. So I think we're done. I think we have a working item here. So let's select an item, hit add. As you can see, it works perfectly. Very simple. Okay, and then go the other way, and it looks like it's working great. So now let's go ahead and put in some code where we double click on each list box and we get the same effect so we don't have to keep uh, going back to the button. What we do here, we right click on the uh, list box go to properties on double click code builder now being that when we double click on list box one we want to get the same effect as the add button let's go ahead and do the smart thing and just copy what's in the add button and hit paste and then that's that and then right click on the second list box, go to properties, on click or on double click, code, and being that we want to copy the actions of the remove button, let's go ahead and just go up to the button remove section, right click, copy, and then right click, paste. Perfect. Now, let's play it, and now we get the same effect, except we don't have to hit the buttons.